Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Everything is new this week. We have a new season, a new series, and new weekly Forza challenges, which we are going to go and complete the car of tomorrow. There's all important 200 Forza points if you own Lake Lodge. If you don't own Lake Lodge, it is just 100 Forza points for you, and that much needed percentage towards the brand new summer season. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. And let's go grab those 200 of four some points. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump straight into this week's Forza Time that challenges the car of tomorrow for chapter one, Insatiable Desire. Own and drive any modern supercar. First thing you want to do is head over to your garage and filter by modern supercars. Luckily, the tab is right at the top. For this week's weekly Forza Time, you have an absolute selection of cars to go for. For me, I'm going to go for the 2011 Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera running 680 horsepower, 465 foot-pounds of torque, four-wheel drive, class S1 900, and can be picked up in the auto showroom for 180,000 credits. I have tunes available for pretty much every car in this category, so just search my gamer tag at Skippy4631 or the file name Skippy YouTube. Quite simply, hop outside your festival house or castle, drive four seconds down the road, and Insatiable Desire completed. That did take a little while. So with chapter one, Insatiable Desire complete, own and drive any modern supercar. So on to chapter two, have your cake and eat it. A car like this is just begging to be driven. Get out there and win three street scene events in your modern supercar. Head on over to your map and filter by the Street Scene Championships. The Street Scene races are either dark blue or gold, depending if you've completed them or not. I'm going to be going for Edinburgh at Newtown, as it is one of the shorter Street Scene races on the map. As always, when doing a race in the weekly Forza Ton Challenges, driver type difficulty does not matter. As we need to win three races, I am bringing that difficulty down. There's no need to make it any harder than it needs to be, so we're going highly skilled. Across the line, race one complete. Just two more to go. Race number two complete, one to go. And across the line, third and final race complete. And there we go, have your cake and eat it completed. So with chapter two, have your cake and eat it completed, winning three street scene events in your modern supercar. It's on to chapter three, life in the fast lane. Drop it like it's hot and rack up a total of 15 stars from speed zones with your modern supercar. For this chapter, to make life as easy as possible, I'm going to be using the 2017 Ford GT, running 630 horsepower, 539 foot-pounds of torque, rear drive, class S1 900. It can be picked up in the auto showroom for 400,000 credits. Once again, for this chapter, head on over to your map and filter by speed zones. Now for me, to make this as easy and as quick as possible, I'm heading over to the Rail Yard Express area or the Glen Ronick area and there is a speed zone called Foothills and a speed zone called Strathbridge. They run directly one after the other. So you can run through one camera with a three star rating of 130 miles an hour and then straight through the second camera of 135 miles an hour for three stars. Now you don't have to get three stars, you can get two stars or one star as long as you get 15 stars in total just keep running backwards and forwards until you see that little notification life in the fast lane completed here we go then two speed zones in one hit this time normally we've just got one of these to do but we're going to hit both as higher entry speed as possible now you don't have to get three stars like i say you can do it two stars or one star i'm just going to go for whatever i can the power down that's 128.63 continue down the road and straight on to the next speed zone have the brakes keep the power on i think we just missed the three-star objective on that last one i think it's 130 we've got 128 this is 135 oh we nearly lost it there that's absolutely fine 118.09 i think so i'll quite simply spin the gt round and head on back through the cameras and just keep doing this rinse and repeat until you see that notification at the bottom this chapter is complete And 
And there we go, Life in the Fast Lane completed. So the chapter 3, Life in the Fast Lane completed, earning 15 stars from Speed Zones. It's on to chapter 4, Expensive Taste. Scream down the highway and earn 3 stars at the M68 Speed Trap with your modern supercar. For the fourth and final chapter, I use something pretty quick. The 2018 McLaren 70S Coupe, running 1,031 horsepower, 744 foot-pounds of torque, rear-wheel drive, class S2984, and we picked up in the auto showroom for 340,000 credits, and looks incredible in this colour. Now, I interrupt this chapter upon trying to get three stars at the M68 speed trap and achieving over 265 miles an hour, which is the three-star rating for that camera uh, and it didn't trigger it didn't get a notification nothing happened i actually went into this screen and noticed 17 out of 20 in the chapter progression now that's either ultimate speed skills or some sort of speed skill or near miss skills now i suggest just trying to get both until this chapter completes i can't believe playground has actually missed this one but we'll let them off it's fine it's still counting towards the progress so it's all good so either ultimate near miss skills or ultimate speed skills and it'll get this chapter complete so for this chapter i'm actually using the 2018 mclaren 720s coupe i'm just hooning it up and down the motorway at above 200 miles an hour and hoping that this chapter will complete at some point there it is the car of tomorrow completed that is this week's awesome challenges done so that's this week's Force on Challenges completed the car of tomorrow. 200 Force on Points in the bag and 15% towards your summer season. As for that fourth chapter, it's very much wrong, very much bugged. Just earn either near miss skills or ultimate speed skills and you should get that chapter complete. Just ignore the fact it says three stars on the M68 camera. Now, let's go ahead and check out this week's Force on Shop. This week then is looking pretty good. The first car is the 2011 McLaren 12C Coupe for 600 Forza Thorn points. The second car in the shop is the 2012 Hot Wheels Rip Rod for 500 Forza Thorn points. Both these cars are not available in the auto showroom, so if you don't have them, pick them up now. We don't know when we'll see them again. We have the Chicken Dancer Moat and the Planets Jupiter Car Horn. I think both of these are worth 100 Forza Thorn points each. And if you've got some spare force on points lying around and you're feeling a little bit lucky, go ahead and grab a normal wheel spin for 40 force on points or a super wheel spin for 150 force on points. So there we go guys, that's this week's force on challenges done and dusted. If you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing so we'll be completing the rest of the festival players in the next couple of days, grabbing that 80% completion and all the rewards along the way. Once again, just be a little bit wary of that fourth chapter. Thank you all so much for watching and have... An awesome day.